Hello, it's Nick. Today I want to show you how to use blur effect in Figma. We will create layer blur and background blur. Let's start with a layer blur. This blur is typically used for background images, because it helps soften or detract focus from the background to foreground elements. It's possible to apply blur to individual layers or individual objects. In my case, I will choose this image. In the effects section, click plus. Change the drop shadow effect that was selected by default to layer blur and play with the blur value to adjust it properly. As you can see, when the value is low, there is almost no blur, but the higher the value becomes, the more blurry the image is. Once you apply a layered blur, you see that the edges of the image become blurry. And this can be a problem if you want to use this image in design. Most of the time, in UI design, we need images with sharp corners. So, as a solution to this problem, I usually frame the image using the frame that is slightly smaller than the original image. As you can see here, once we position the image in the frame, the corners will be clear and sharp. Ensure the clip content is enabled for the frame. It will guarantee that the image won't overlap the boundaries of the frame. Now let's create a background blur. When we use a background blur for a layer, Figma will blur any layers behind it on the canvas. To show you how it works, I will create a simple square. Size it properly and change the fill color and opacity. When a layer opacity is set to 100%, you won't be able to see the background blur at all. So I will go with 20% opacity to achieve a nice visual effect. Now let's create a background blur itself. In the effects section, click plus. Select background blur. And just like before, play with the blur value. Let's use a value around 50 for our layer. When I move the layer, you see that it blurs everything behind it. Copy the square and change the blur value to 100. Create another copy of the square and set the blur value to 200. As you can see, the value determines how blurry the layer becomes. Extend the squares from top to bottom to create the vertical blocks. One cool thing about background blur is that you can also change the field color of the blurry layer itself. In my case, I will go with red, green and blue colors for the layers. Let's put our background blur example next to the layer blur. And you tell me in the comments what type of a blur you want to use for your project. Blur test is another thing that I want to talk about. Blur effect can be used not only as a visual design technique, but also as a testing method for visual hierarchy. Using blur test, you can ensure that the most critical elements, such as call to action buttons or headlines, are prominent and catch the user's eyes first. All you need to do to conduct blur test is take a screenshot of your site and apply a subtle layer blur in Figma. Here you can see a screenshot of a landing page of Delta Airlines. I will apply a layer blur to this screenshot and set the value to something around 10. It will blur the layer, so the body text and many functional elements become not legible. Now we need to briefly check the blur version of the page and set markers for the elements that attract the most attention on this page. I think the elements that stand out are the hero text section, the call to action button below it, the text headline below it, the call to action in the top right corner of the screen, and departure and destination airports. How to use results of the blur test? You run it with test participant to understand whether the elements that attract users' attention are the same elements you want them to notice. For the Delta Airlines landing page, we most likely want users to read the main message first, the hero text, and then check departure and destination airports. Since users notice this element first, it means that this page is properly designed. That's all for today. Thank you.